If you charge additional fees on items that require separate accounting, such as a deposit or eco fee, you can assign a levy record to sales order details to calculate this charge and print the levy information on order documents. To maintain these records, from the Inventory menu, choose Levies. This shows the list of levy codes available to include with items, where new codes can be added or existing records can be edited. Each levy must have a unique code and should have a useful description, as this will print on forms. Give the levy a ledger account. Often this is a levy liability account in the case of deposits that will be paid back to the customer in the future. Levies can be charged either as a percentage of the item sale price or flat dollar amount per unit sold, with the value entered here. And finally, indicate whether this levy is taxable, either using tax codes configured in Spire or integrated tax application. Then you can assign a default levy code to an item on the Prices and Units tab to ensure it is remembered if this item typically gets a levy. On sales orders, when this item with a levy is added, the code and extended levy amount will be populated on the detail, and the subtotal will include the levy amount. Even if the item does not have a default levy code assigned, you can still edit an item to select a levy code and calculate an amount. When you print an order confirmation or invoice or other document type you would send to the customer, each levy is printed on the form, underneath the item it is attached to, with the code, description, and unit and extended prices. A total of all levies also prints at the bottom of the form. When the invoice is posted, the levy payable account will be credited. For levies that could be returned to the customer, such as for deposits, you will need to create a transaction to debit the levy payable and credit some cash account or accounts receivable. Perhaps the transaction is a sales credit that uses a non-physical item with the levy payable account in place of revenue, or perhaps a credit memo on accounts receivable, or simply a ledger journal entry. If you would like more information about Spire Accounting, access the link in the description below to our homepage. Read the online manual help for additional assistance. Watch more videos from this playlist. And subscribe to the Spire YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.